what's up it's alicia welcome back to our channel so today i'm bringing you all a natural hair update because as you guys can tell i dyed my hair black um for a number of reasons so i'm going to tell you guys why i dyed my hair black how i achieved this color and just also an update of how my hair is doing since the color so let's get right into it okay guys so as you guys can tell or if you guys don't follow us on instagram i like valera um, I have recently dyed my hair black. I dyed it black last Thursday, so about like five days ago. And um, I dyed it black for a number of reasons. First off, I I just was getting tired of the color. As you guys know, I um, dyed or I got highlights back last summer. So back in July, I got highlights, and at first, I loved them. They were this really pretty caramel brown color. And I was just obsessed with the color because it was just bright and really pretty for like the summer and it was just so 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 pretty. But over time as the months began to continue on um, my hair grows really fast so the color was like growing out super fast and um, the color was like fading to like this really brassy ugly color and I could not stand it like I hated looking at my hair because the color was like this really like brassy blonde like it was just this really ugly color. And I was over it, y'all. I was so over it because the color was just stressing me out and I cannot stand the color. And on top of that, like, I just had so much, like, new growth that that the high tech grew out to where it was, like, if I had my hair in a puff, like you see now, like, this whole entire part would be, like, brown, like, a natural hair color. And then, like, the poof, the puff part would be the highlights. So, it had grew out a lot. And so, I, had, I pretty much had to get a new color job. Like, no matter if I did the highlights or got a new color I had to get it done soon because it was just growing out way too fast and on top of those two things I really I noticed that there was so much more frizz I don't I, first off I couldn't figure out why my hair is frizzy like I said if you guys don't follow on Instagram you guys don't know that I've been, I've been having some problems with frizz a lot lately and I could not figure out why I was having so much frizz it was like frizzy no matter if I did a, a fresh wash and go if I did a new hairdo like no matter what I did it would be frizzy and so I could not figure out what it was I changed my regimen I um changed my products I changed everything and nothing was working and so I finally concluded that the color in the highs was kind of damaging my hair a little bit and it was causing it to be a lot more frizzier it was causing my hair to be a lot more high maintenance and it was just it was it was just stressing me out I can't I'm not gonna lie I would complain about it 24 7 and I love my hair but like the color was just it was pissing me off it was pissing me off and so after a lot of debate I decided to dye my hair just all one color I mean I was debating between dark brown and black but I figure I've had brown hair all my life. Like, I've had brown hair for 20 some years. So I was tired of the brown, so I decided to go black. Now, black is super bold for me because it just, I'm, I'm not used to it. So I decided to go black, and it took me a very long time. It took me a, quite a few days to get used to this black color because it's so dark. But overall, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I did a lot of research trying to debate if I wanted to go and go to a hair salon and get my hair dyed black or if I wanted to dye my hair black myself. And after a lot of weighing the pros and cons, I decided to do it myself personally because I do not trust hairstylists like hardly ever. Um, I've had a lot of bad experiences with hairstylists, so I prefer to do it myself. And I figure I would just dye my hair myself and if I mess up, then it's on me. But I trust myself more than anybody to do my own hair, so that was just, that's just how I am. So I went to CVS on Thursday during my lunch break and I got um, two boxes of hair dye. I got the Red Bond color Silk Beautiful color and the color Soft Black and Black. And so I decided to kind of mix the two because I didn't want to go jet black. Like I didn't want to be super dark. I kind of want to kind of stay in a black, soft black range. So I decided to go with Soft Black and Black. So later on that day, I came home, um, got some gloves and separated my hair into six sections. And I just went to town. I applied the Soft Black first all over my hair and then I applied the black on top of it and that kind of helped balance it out so that my hair wasn't too 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 dark. And my hair took the color so 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 well. Um, I sat with the hair dye on my hair for about 45 minutes or so and so overall y'all my hair took the color so well. Like I said earlier I did have a like bronzy blonde color hair um, color highlights and so I have not seen an ounce of the color at 
all like no ounce of color anywhere and it was like blonde so I, was, I expected to see a little bit of color but I haven't seen an ounce of color anywhere close to that because I didn't want to have to redye my hair later on like so close together so I haven't seen an ounce of black in my hair took the color even with just 40 45 minutes of with the color of my hair so that was a plus so I did that and I washed the color and I styled it like a wash and go simple um but my hair like instantly bounced back there is hardly any frizz um at all this is like an old wash and go so it's pretty frizzy now because it's like four days old but overall y'all my curls like back to being springy and bouncy and shiny and just full of life and that's what I really really wanted because I could tell that the color was kind of like just making my hair really dull and causing it to be really frizzy and just really like it just it needed some life to it I can't lie it is it needed some life so um, my hair feels so much more better and healthier and just full of life and I'm so thankful um, that I chose to go the black route because I I was tired of the color I was tired of like having to deal with like the the just the different colors that were going on and the frizziness and just everything so I'm glad I went with the black and it's it's just different it's a different kind of look um but I really really enjoy it because it's just it's bold black it's like a black color guess and so it's just black it's super black but I love it and like I said earlier it did take me a few days to get used to it because I'm not used to having my hair this this black but overall you guys it's like it's, it's just life it's life right now so I'm excited to try and see how my hair looks um, with different hairstyles with this new color and things like that so of course I'll be sharing with you all my new hairstyles and different tutorials for hair so look out for those um, but overall I find this is a great decision I don't have any complaints um, yet if I do of course I'll update, I'll update you guys about how my hair is doing if it's being more damaged than it was earlier and things like that so look out for that but as of right now I don't have any complaints at all my hair is popping right now and also just a thumbs up that this this hair dye here does not have ammonia to it which is a plus because it's not damaging it's less it's less harsh on our hair so that was a win for me because i didn't want any products with ammonia so that is a plus as well and i got these on sale for like six dollars total so it was pretty cheap so um yeah guys that's pretty much my natural hair update of my new color um, I'm loving it and I'm excited to see how my hair flourishes and things like that so I'll keep you guys updated if you guys have any questions about the color or the process that I did or just anything like that why I decided to go black any questions leave them below um, but yeah if you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button and if you guys did enjoy this natural hair update give it a thumbs up and I hope that you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you guys in our next video bye guys